Mahadi Tijani, a YouTuber who spoke with Brother Gabriel and Hijab, was a guest on a podcast where he gave da'wah to non-Muslims about how Islam protects women because it forbids dating. I mean, to answer your question, Pearl, you, you asked me just now, um, would, I, would I date an OnlyFans girl? I'm a conservative Muslim, and this mm -hmm. is going to make yeah. for a very interesting discussion. Yes. We don't even date, period. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to marry you today, mm -hmm. I would go to your father and I'd approach your father and I'd say to you, what's your dad's name, if you don't mind me asking? Dan. Dan. I'd yeah. say, Dan, I've taken interest in your daughter. I think she's a lovely girl, but I wanted to approach you first. This is the respectful manner. I approach your father, Dan. Mm -hmm. And your father, he would take that responsibility of vetting me out. Mm -hmm. You see, he would make his or do take his due diligences upon me. Mm -hmm. And then after that, once Dan has gotten to know me and has accustomed himself with me and me and you have sat down a couple of times, maybe we go for coffee, the family don't always have to be around. Mm -hmm. After that process, it's very swift and quick. At that moment, you and your father, Dan, will decide and you'll be like, you say to your dad, look, I like him or I don't like him. And then after that, your dad will be like, okay, we're going to make this happen or we don't make this happen. Islam indeed prohibits dating because it destroys not just men and women, but also children and the family structure as a whole. Before we begin, it's important to clarify that I'm only referring to women who want to have a committed, lifelong relationship with a man, not to promiscuous women who sleep around her to those who don't care about whether their relationship will last or not. So when it comes to those women, Islam protects them from self-destruction by commanding the woman's guardian, usually her father, to take responsibility for vetting the man for marriage and give his permission if he thinks he's a good suitor for her rather than letting her get into forbidden relationships, which typically result in emotional attachment, illegal sexual intercourse, and painful breakups. And I also want to correct Mahadi that men and women cannot be completely alone before getting married. Family members must be present because the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, strictly forbids man and woman from being alone unless a mahram is present with her. And how can we forget that the shaitan is always present with them if they are alone? Since shaitan is our greatest enemy, we cannot take him lightly. This creature has a long history of deceiving our species, going back millions of years. Keep in mind that Allah, who explicitly prohibits us from even going near to fornication, is far wiser and more knowledgeable than we are. There is absolutely no comparison. We don't make this happen. Mm -hmm. And in this way, I don't mess around with Dan's daughter. Mm -hmm. Dan's, da Dan's daughter is able to maintain one of the mo her most valuable assets, which is her chastity mm -hmm. and purity. And we're going to get onto body count today as well, which we're going to talk about, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So this, this dating thing is it's not a thing for us in the, in the first place. Yes. The beauty of Islam is that a woman can easily avoid men who are only interested in having easy sex by abiding by Allah's commands. This is because in dating, a man does not have to go through the process of involving his family, vetting by her father and family, and does not have to pay the Islamic bridal gift or spend on a wedding, which is why the majority of cases of pump and dump occur in the dating world. Allah has made it difficult for men to get a woman so that a woman can easily identify if a guy is serious about her. This is one of Allah's favors to the Muslim woman that anti-Islamic liberal modern Geminists will not understand. Do you think it's better that way? 100%. Yeah, I think so too. Because I think what women... What makes you say that? I think women like... Oftentimes we're... I think men can vet other men better than women vet men. Because like... You know, we'll be enamored by like a smooth talk. I mean, how many how many kids, how many girls has Nick Cannon got pregnant? If I've is got that, the source, <laughs> nine, isn't it? Like, if, like, I've got, if I've got the source and I know how to talk to yeah. a woman, it's a wrap. But that's not going to work with Big Dan. Yeah, yeah. You see, Dan's going to be like, listen, Big Man, that's not working with me. You mm -hmm. see, and then he's able to to vet me out for himself. And then ultimately, the final decision still rests with you yeah. and lays with you. He can't force you to do it either way or not. Mm -hmm. But him being involved in that process number one helps you to vet him out and number two it adds a little bit of a fear factor and that fear factor is if i mess around with this girl here i'm gonna have to be held accountable mm -hmm. to big dan mm -hmm. you see whereas when there's no father figure brother figure uncle figure in the picture mm -hmm. that i know i'm gonna help be held accountable to that's easy pickings yeah. it's low-hanging fruit and that's the way man 
Yeah, you know. but I almost think that only works if like the g- girl is pure because what guy's gonna do all that for like a girl that's been ran through? Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. Like, what what guy's gonna yeah, go yeah. meet the dad and like do all that? <laughs> yeah. What this woman has understood, some of our liberal brothers and sisters have not, is that there is always great wisdom and benefits behind the laws of Allah, which will help you both in the hereafter and in this life. But they refuse to accept that and commit disbelief out of arrogance and jealousy. Of course, no one, not even a woman's father, is allowed to force her to marry. However, her family can't find her a suitor, but she is still free to decide if she wants to marry him or not. If you like our content, then please make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for latest updates. Thank you.